worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Tunashuka chini sana bwana we Just lift up your hands and we worship the
this morning, I have all the reason to worship the Lord. I have all the reason to worship the Lord. Even when you don't have the reason, I have the reason. Even when people don't have the reason to worship the Lord, I, I have the reason to worship the Lord. Even when you don't see the need, I have all the reason to worship the Lord. I have all the reason to glorify His name. I have all the reason. I have all the reason. Because when I didn't know how to keep myself, He has kept me alive today. I have all the reason to worship the Lord. That I woke up this morning when I'm sober in my mind. I have all the reason to worship the Lord. That I woke up this morning when I'm not crying. I have all the reason to worship the Lord. I have all the reason to bless the name of the Lord. Somebody lift up your hand and worship the Lord. You may not see the reason to worship the Lord. But I worship the Lord because I see the reason to worship the Lord. Oh Jesus, I worship you. Just lift up your voice and worship the Lord. Hey, worship the Lord. Worship the King of Kings. Worship the Lord of Lord. That today this morning we woke up when you are worship. worship the Lord this morning. That you are able to walk this morning. I have all the reason to worship the Lord. I have all the reason to glorify the Lord. When people don't see the reason, I see the reason to worship Him. That He was brewing because of my life. That He shed blood because of my life. Lord, I have all the reason to worship. I thank you for your blood. I thank you for your blood. I thank you for the blood of Jesus. That when I didn't know how to keep myself, the blood of Jesus has kept me. That when I was left far, the blood of Jesus brought me back. This morning I have all the reason to worship the Lord. That he was priest because of my life. This morning I have all the reason to give him all the glory. I have all the reason to worship him. Oh Jesus, that even when people didn't love me, the blood of Jesus has kept me. Oh Jesus, lift up your voice and worship the Lord. If you see the reason, wakati ya ukuweza, damu ya Yesu imekuifani. Oh Jesus, you have all the reason to worship the Lord in the morning. You have all the reason. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Jesus, you are an awesome God. I glorify you and Him, O Jehovah God. I thank you for the blood of Jesus that is able to break every yoke, that is able to deliver me. I thank you, Lord, for the blood of Jesus that has set me free. I thank you, Jesus, for the blood of Jesus that has kept me alive. I thank you, Jesus, for the blood of Jesus that has kept me alive. I thank you, Jesus, for the blood of Jesus that is able to break every yoke. Name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. When I was in captive, your blood has, your blood has set me free, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Jehovah God. Faithful are you, King of glory. Oh, Jesus. Faithful are you, Lord. See your faithfulness. See your faithfulness. Lord, see your faithfulness, Lord. Lord, we see your faithfulness, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Where you are, just lift up your two hands. Thank you for the blood. Lift up your two hands. If God has given you hands, lift those hands high. Lift those hands high above your head, your head and stand up in your feet in honor of Jesus, in honor of our King. Just stand up in your feet and lift your two hands above your heart, above your head. Just lift your two hands above your head. I want you to see the reason why you need to worship the Lord today. That far from your family, the blood of Jesus has set you free from captivity. 
when you are locked in captivity the blood of jesus has been able oh to remove you from captivity see how god is faithful see the love of jesus lord see how faithful you are see how faithful the lord has been see how faithful the lord has been unto us see how faithful see how far the blood of jesus has kept you that even when your family did not keep you the lord has been able to keep you that when you had nothing the blood of jesus it has brought you to where you are today that when you are a nobody the blood of jesus has been able to bring you where you are oh glorify the king of kings with me lift up your hand and worship the lord he has been a peneza the hope of the power he has been so faithful to you that when you are a nobody the blood of jesus the blood of god the blood of the lamb the blood the blood of jesus the blood of jesus thank you for being for life in the name of jesus let the blood of jesus the blood of jesus that even when you didn't know how to keep yourself the blood of jesus has kept you that when you were a nobody the blood of jesus has brought you to where you are remember the father the lord has brought you the blood 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 of jesus that is able to bring you where you are the blood of jesus that is able to bring every up thank you jesus the blood of Jesus He put us by you The blood of Jesus The blood of Jesus
Shangilia Yesu. Hakuna Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Someone give praises unto God. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Inua tu mikono yako juu ya kichwa. Tunataka kumupigia Bwana makofi. Tafadhali tusaidie hiyo vitu yenye nalialia hiyo tusaidie. Inua mikono yako juu. Mupatie Bwana shangwe na vigele. Yeah. Haleluya. 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 Sasa kidogo kwa Yesu. Yesu ayupo tena kaburini amefufuka You are leo mtu kuseni Yesu ayupo tena kaburini amefufuka You are leo mtu kuseni Yesu ayupo tena kaburini amefufuka Alikupa na siku ya tatu e akapupuka mtu kuzeni e Yesu ayuko tena kaburi ni amepupuka Yuai e mtu kuzeni alishinda kifona mauti e Yuai dile mtu kuzeni Yesu ayuko tena kaburi ni amepupuka Oh, my God. 
Chukatini 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 Yesu ainuliwe Chukatini zaidi Yesu ainuliwe Tunapanda juna shambwe na kelele Tunamishangiria mufando wa mafando Ameshinda kifo na mauti Nataka ni wazabu mocha mbini tatu Tupige shambwe na mikele kele Tukiruka ju One Two Tirifige shambwe Hey Chalo brother king of kings of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Just celebrate the praise and worship team as you take your seats. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You can take where, 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 where. You can take your precious seats in the presence of God. Hallelujah. To a chapia hawa wana muziki mambo makofi mazuri. By the way, Najua Philip alikuwa nafanya testing ya yu keyboard. Wana Yesu wa sifiwa. Alikuwa na jaribu tuku testi, testi. Kwa sababu ni keyboard mpia. So, alikuwa na jaribu. Wana Yesu wa sifiwa. Hey, hey. Wonderful. God bless you all. God bless you, sons. You are wonderful people. Hallelujah. I bring you Passover greetings in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Just wave at me, please. Hallelujah. God bless. God bless you. Someone celebrate uh, my daughter, Pastor Mercy, in the house. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is a wonderful time that the Lord has made. That we may rejoice in his presence. Hallelujah. Uh, I'm fine this morning. I just want to bring unto us the word of God from Abad and Grace Revival Ministries Kitale. The headquarter of Abad and Grace. Just someone help me to celebrate Hallelujah. our online viewers. Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your word that you have prepared for us this morning. Lord, I commit myself unto you and the church here and our online church before you. Lord, I pray that may you release your Holy Spirit to minister to each one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you and we honor you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let the church say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, this being uh, the Passover season, we are in the season of celebrating the Passover. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, Passover was instituted by God himself. This is a, a feast of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, Last uh, yesterday, it was it on Friday. I was asking Favor, what is Passover? And he told me it is the last supper. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And I said, let me call her. See her teacher, Pastor Mercy, to come and award him marks. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. It is so interesting that uh, we Christians, some of us are celebrating what we don't know. Praise the Lord. Amen. 
The Bible records in the book of Exodus chapter number 12. Biblia inaweza kunuku katika kitabu cha kutoka sura ya 12. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to read uh, from verse 7. I'll read verse 7 and then 11 to 14. Nitasoma mstari wa 7 kisha 11 hadi 14. But at your own time you can read the whole of that chapter. Lakini kwa muda wako wa kipekee utaweza kusoma uh, sura hilo lote la 12. The Bible says in verse 7. And they shall take some of the blood and put it on their two doorposts and on the lintel of their houses where they eat it. Nao watatua baadhi ya damu yake na kuitia katika mimo miwili na katika kizingiti cha juu katika zile nyumba watakazo mla. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'll proceed to verse 11 to 14. Itaendelea mstari wa 11 hadi 14. And thus you shall eat it with a belt on your waist, with sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand. So you shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. If that is your Bible, just underline that. Uh, tena mtamula hivi, mtakuwa mmefungwa viuno vienu, mmeva viatu vienu miguni, na fimbo zenu mikononi mwenu, nanyi mtamula kwa haraka, ni pasaka ya buwana. Ikiwa hiyo ni biblia yako, pigia mstari hiyo uh, andiko. For I will pass through the land of Egypt on that night, and I will strike all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. Amana, I am the Lord. Maana nitapita kati ya nchi ya Misri usiku huo. Nami nitawapiga wazaliwa wa kwanza wote katika nchi ya Misri wa, wa, wa mwanadamu na wa mnyama. Nami nitafanya hukumu juu ya miungu yote ya Misri. Mimi ndimi bwana. I uh, now the blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood I will pass over you and the plague shall not be on you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. Na ile damu itakuwa ishara kwenu katika zile nyumba mtakazo kuamu na mini takapo iona ile damu nitapita juu yenu lisiwapate pigo lolote likawaribu nitakapo ipiga nchi ya misri. So this day shall be to you a memorial and you shall keep it as a feast to the Lord Throughout your generations, you shall keep it as a, as a feast by an everlasting ordinance. Na siku hii itakuwa ukumbusho kwenu, nanyi mtaifanya iwe siku kuu ya kwa buwana, mtaifanya iwe siku kuu katika vizazi vienu vyote kwa amri ya milele. Hallelujah. You shall keep it as a feast to the Lord throughout your generations. Underline that. Pigia mstari ya kwamba, uh, na siku hii itakuwa ukumbusho kwenu nanyi mtaifanya iwe siku kuu kwa Bwana mtaifanya iwe siku kuu katika vizazi vyenu vyote kwa amri ya milele amen praise the name of jesus amen this is the lord speaking praise god huyu ni bwana na nena the bible says and the lord spoke unto moses praise the king of glory biblia inasema na mungu akamnenea musa when the children of israel were in captivity Egypt. Wakati wana wa Israeli walikuwa Misri utumwani. And the Lord God gave him some uh, commandments. Bwana kampatia amri. And the Lord gave him directions because of this day. Bwana akaweza kumwelekeza kwa sababu ya siku hii ya leo. Uh, before the marking of this day. Kabla kuweza kusherekea siku ya leo. The Lord told Moses to tell the children of Israel. Bwana alimwambia Musa awambie wana wa Israeli that each family should set apart a, a clean lamp ya kwamba kila jamii na itenge mwana kondo ambaye hana doa doa that is going to be off this day ambaye ataweza kutolewa kwa siku kama ya leo and they were given instructions na wakapewa maelekezo they were told they are going to slaughter that lamp aliwambia kwamba wataweza kumchinja yule mwana kondoo every family kila jamii and they'll take of the blood of that lamb na watachukua damu ya mwana kondoo yule and take ice of leaves na kuweza kuchukua matawi and apply the blood on the lintels of their doors na weze kupaka ile damu katika miimo ya milango praise the name of jesus amen 
Amina. So this was a duty for every family. Kwa hivyo hii ilikuwa ni jukumu ya kila jamii. No Israelite family was an ex- exceptional. Hakuna jamii ya Israeli ambaye haikuweza kuwa katika mambo haya. And the Bible says and the Lord said. Na Biblia inasema kwamba Bwana akasema. As I will be passing through Egypt on this day. Nitakapokuwa nikipita katikati ya nje ya Misri siku hii ya leo. When I see the blood at the lintels of your door. Nitakapoona damu katika miimo ya milango. I will pass over. Mimi nitapita juu. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. But where there is no blood. Lakini mahali ambapo hakuna damu. That means that is the household of the Egyptians. Hiyo inamaanisha kwamba hiyo ni nyumba ya wa Misri. I will strike every firstborn. Mimi nitaangamiza kila mzaliwa wa kwanza praise the name of jesus amen so this blood was the security to the children of israel kwa hivyo hii damu ilikuwa usalama kwa wana wa israeli someone say amen amina and this was the instruction of god na hii ndio ilikuwa maelekezo ama maagizo ya mungu praise the king of glory hallelujah and the bible says and the lord told moses biblia inasema kwamba bwana akamwambia musa tell these children of israel waambie hawa wana wa israeli to roast that meat all of it ya kwamba wakaichome ama wakaiteketeze nyama ile yote let them not boil it or eat it raw wacha wasiichemshe ama kuila mbichi let them roast it on fire wakaichome kwenye moto and eat all of it at that night na usiku ule wa kaile yote hallelujah hallelujah with their sandals on wakiwa wamevalia viatu vyao praise the name of jesus amen with their belts fastened wakiwa wamefunga mishipi yao with their gowns on wakiwa with their gowns on wakiwa wamevalia mavazi yao praise the name of jesus amen why was the lord instructing them so kwa nini bwana alikuwa anawapa maagizo kama haya because that night was going to be a night of deliverance kwa sababu usiku huo ulikuwa usiku wa ukombozi and the children of israel were going to live in a hast na wana wa israeli walikuwa waondoke kwa upesi they were not going to be slow hawangeweza kuwa wenye kuupole this was a not a night of just walking sluggish hii si usiku ya kutembea tu ovyo ovyo this was not a night of slaying haikuwa usiku wa kujibembeleza praise the name of jesus hallelujah this was a night with a special instruction from god hii ilikuwa ni usiku wa maagizo speciali kutoka kwa mungu hallelujah hallelujah because this was a redemption night kwa sababu ilikuwa ni usiku ya ukombozi someone say redemption tusema ukombozi the bible says and the lord said when i see the blood Biblia inasema Bwana akasema nitakapoiona damu I will pass over nitapita juu yenu And that is what exactly happened Na hiyo ndio ilitendeka The Lord came down as per his word Bwana aliweza kutenda kulingana na neno lake And the angel of destruction Alimtuma malaika wa kuangamiza And the Bible records that when the angel saw the blood Na Biblia inanukuu ya kwamba malaika alipoiona ile damu This is the house of my Israelites Alijua hii ni nyumba ya wana Israeli So he would pass over Kwa hivyo angepita Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It didn't matter how the doors were fastened. Haijalishi milango ilifungwa vipi. What mattered to the angel was the blood. He could reach at this door and see some blood. And he salutes the people inside. And he passes and goes to another door. When he arrives at this door there is no blood. He destroys the first bar. From the children to the oats to the horses and everything. When he comes to this door and sees blood. The Bible says the angel will pass over. Someone say pass over. Sema kupita juu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me tell you today this season of Passover. Acha nikwambie leo siku hii ya Pasaka. The children of Israel. Ya kwamba wana wa Israel. They were ready to leave. Walikuwa tayari kuondoka. Because they had suffered oppression. Kwa sababu walikuwa wameteseka kwa the hands of the Egyptians. Katika mikono ya Wamisri. So when deliverance came. Kwa hivyo ukombozi ulipopita take it for granted they did not waste any minute they did not bargain the bible says they did as the lord instructed hallelujah and when the angel of the lord came when he struck the first prince of the egyptians 
They were just laughing. Ah, walikuwa na cheka tu. The Egyptians, the Egyptians. Wa Misri. Were they laughing? Walikuwa na cheka tu. Hallelujah. Hapana. At now the firstborn has died. Hey, hey. Eh, Mzaliwa kwanza amekufa. <laughs> were they rejoicing? Walikuwa na furahia kweli. They were they were crying, they were weeping and they were mourning. Walikuwa na walikuwa na ombolezo. Amina. They was weeping in the camp of the Egyptians. Walikuwa na maombolezo katika kwa Misri. They were weeping in the in the households. Walikuwa na But the children of Israel Israel, in the camp of the children of Israel there was rejoicing there was rejoicing there was rejoicing because they are very white karma they were rejoicing today in the name of Jesus I prophesy to someone the enemies have been rejoicing over you but during this Passover during this Passover during this Passover You are going to rejoice. Someone say amen. Amen. Hey, is the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, Jesus rejoice over you for a long time. Imagine 430 years. They were under oppression. Come on, come on someone. 430 years. They were under oppression. I don't know how long it has been taken you. I don't know how long you have suffered. I don't know how long you have suffered. But today I announce unto you. It is your time of rejoicing. It is your time of rejoicing. Furai tu yangu baada ni yangu kapo nitaamka tena 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 jina la yeye haleluya sana amina amina hey hey the angel of god was passing Malaika wa Bwana alipita pita. Yes. Alipoona damu. Akasema hapa hapana. Alipoona damu. Akasema hawa ni untouchable. Come and say untouchable. Hawa guzi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sawa celebrate Jesus. Praise Bwana. Amen. It the night of celebration. It was a joyful night. Ilikuwa usiku wa furaha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When they remembered the oppression of Pharaoh. Walipokumbuka mabadiliko. They could not hold back their joy. But they could not hold back their tears of joy. They lifted their voices. They left in haste. Wakatoka upesi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just sit down in the presence of God. Katika uwepo wa Bwana. Sit of Jesus. This brings us down to the book of Genesis. Hii inatuleta katika kitabu cha mwanzo. The Bible says and through Adam Biblia man nasema, was separated from God. Biblia inasema kupitia Adamu mwanadamu akaweza kutenganishwa na Mungu. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And because of Adam. Na kwa sababu ya Adamu. The Bible says because of your sin. Biblia inasema kwa sababu ya Adamu. That is why I cannot answer your prayers. Ndio maana siwezi kujibu maombi yako. The scenario in in Genesis of Adam katika mwanzo wake Adamu The Bible says Biblia inasema and Adam sinned na Adamu akatenda dhambi and sin entered the world through one man Adam na dhambi kaingia ulimwenguni kupitia mtu mmoja Adamu and through one man Jesus Christ na kupitia mtu mmoja Yesu Kristo there was redemption kulikuwa na ukombozi praise the name of Jesus hallelujah what did sin do unto man je dhambi ilimfanyia nini mwanadamu number one, ya kwanza, sin separated man from God dhambi ilimtengenea mwanadamu na Mungu or sin separates man from God ama dhambi inamtenganisha mwanadamu na Mungu haleluya haleluya the bible says when the lord came down biblia inasema Mungu alipokuja chini looking for adam and eve kumtafuta adamu na hawa he could not find them angewapata he expected to find them alikuwa anatarajia kuwapata he did not find them hakuwapata 
separated with God and they said oh God that they are come near you because we are naked they became separated number two the sin separated man from the purpose for which God created him the reason for man creating for god creating man it was to have a fellowship with him the bible says and god could come and have fellowship with man but when man sinned the purpose of which he was created was cut off therefore sin separated the uh, man from the purpose of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number one, I have said sin separates man from God. Number two, sin separates man from the purpose of God. And lastly, sin destroys the relationship of man and God. Hallelujah. Uh, number three, that sin destroys the relationships of man and man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sin destroyed the relationship between Adam and Eve. Pardon? Sin destroyed the relationship between Adam and Eve. Ya kwamba dhambi iliweza kutenganisha ama kuleta uadui ama kukosa uhusiano mzuri kati ya damu na Hawa. When the Lord came looking for them. Ya kwamba Bwana alipokuja kuwatafuta. They said we are naked. Wakamwambia tu uchi. And the Lord asked Adam, "Who told you you are naked?" Na Mungu akamuuliza Adamu, "Nani alikwambia uko uchi?" And the Lord asked him, "Did you eat the fruit?" Bwana akamuuliza, "Je, ulikula lile tunda?" And he began blaming the woman. Akaanza kumsingizia ama kumlaumu mwanamke. He said it is this woman that you have given me. Akasema ni huyu mwanamke uliyenipea. The relationship was no longer there. Uhusiano haukuwa pale tena. The relationship was broken. Uhusiano ukavunjwa. Adam no longer loved his wife. Adamu hakumpenda tena mke wake. Because if he loved his wife he could have protected Kwa him. Kwa sababu kama angempenda angemlinda. But he shifted the blame to the wife. Lakini akahamisha lawama and said it is because of this woman you gave me I could not have eaten the fruit were it not for this woman this woman is the one who made me eat the fruit but Adam had the power to refuse eating that fruit but he began shifting the blame to the woman he said you did not create and a good woman for me. He began blaming God. How many of us are shifting blames to people? When you fall, when you sin, instead of repenting, you begin shifting blames on people. I could not have left that choir. But it is because of the it is because of the leader. It is because of the pastor. She never appreciates us. I cannot sing any longer. I could have gone for prayers. But nobody gives me transport. So I'm not going to go. That is what happened between Adam and Eve and sin came into the world through one man praise Jesus Hallelujah. but this earth uh, uh, during this Passover the Bible says the Lord told them take a lamp a blemish lamp <laughs> A lamp without blemish. And then separate it. And on that night, kill it. 
Mue. Take the blood apply on the lintels of your doors. Chukua damu kaeze kupaka katika mimo ya milango. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If that is what is supposed to happen today. If that is what is supposed to happen today. Ikiwa hiyo ndio inatakana ifanyike leo. For our redemption. Kwa sababu ya ukombozi wetu. Some of us could not afford. Wengine wetu hatungeweza. Because we are in a rental house. Kwa sababu tuko katika nyumba ya kukodi. People will not understand you. Watu hawatakuelewa. They will say look at this devil worshiper. Watasema angalia huyu muabudu shetani. Hey, I saw blood. Niliona damu. She is applying blood on my house. Anapaka damu kwa nyumba yangu. They will evict you at the midst of the night. Some of us could not afford even that lamp. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We could not just afford. Praise the King of Glory. Amen. Some of us we are displaced. We don't know our families. Wengine wetu tumeweza kuondoshwa tujui jamii zetu. But the Bible says let everyone eat of that meat. Lakini Biblia inasema ya kwamba na wacha kila mtu ale nyama hiyo. And then you will live in a haste. Na kisha mtaondoka kwa upesi ama haraka haraka. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Ibarikiwe jina la Bwana. The Bible says and as Moses lifted the serpent, so the son of man was lifted on the cross. Na Biblia inasema ya kwamba jinsi Musa aliweza kumuinua yule nyoka wa shaba, ndivyo mwana wa Mungu ameinuliwa katika msalaba that whoever looks upon him ya kwamba yeyote atakaye mtazama shall be saved ataokolewa that whoever calls upon the name of the lord yeye atakaye litia jina la bwana shall be saved ataokolewa blessed be the name of jesus ndiye jina la bwana the bible says by the blood of jesus biblia inasema kupitia kwa damu ya yesu by the covenanted blood of jesus kwa damu ya yesu yenye agano we receive redemption of sins tunapokea ukombozi kutoka kwa dhambi and jesus observed the passover na yesu aliweza ku, kuangazia ama kusing, kuzingatia ile pasaka praise the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah amen jina la bwana litukuzwe hallelujah in matthew chapter number 26 madhayo sura ya 26 the bible tells us the lord wanted to observe the passover ya kwamba Bwana Yesu aliweza kuzingatia pasaka. So he sent them to a certain city. Kwa hivyo akawatuma katika mji fulani. And they spoke to a certain person. Na wakamzungumzia mtu fulani. That our master desires to have our Passover in your house. Ya kwamba Bwana wetu anahitaji kuwa na pasaka katika nyumba yako. And during that time, na katika wakati huo, is the time that Jesus was arrested and crucified. Ni wakati ambao Yesu aliweza kushikwa na kuweza kusulubishwa. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the King of Glory. Amen. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter number 11 verse 23. Wa Korintho wa kwanza sura ya 11 na mstari wa 23. We are going to read up to 25. Tutasoma hadi mstari wa 25. Paulo says Paulo anasema For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you. That the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said Take Take it this is my body which is broken for you do this in remembrance of me Biblia inasema ya kwamba kwa maana na, mimi nalipokea kwa Bwana niliyowapa nanyi ya kuwa Bwana Yesu siku ule aliyotolewa uh, alitoa mkate naye akiisha kushukuru akaumega akasema huu ndio mwili wangu ulio, ulio kwa ajili yenu fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu In the same manner he also took the cup after supper he took the cup after supper saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood this do as often as you drink it it in remembrance of me Na vivi hivi baada ya kula akitoa kikombe akisema kikombe hiki ni agano jipya katika damu yangu fanyeni hivi kila mnywapo kwa ukumbusho wangu 
Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and he lifted the cup and said, this is the new covenant. And this is a covenant in my blood. Now we are shifting from the covenant of blood over the lintels. We are covenanting ourselves to the blood of Jesus. And the Bible says, and the Lord Jesus said, Take this cup. For this is the covenant of my blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. And the Bible says, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Praise the Jesus. Hallelujah. Now we receive redemption through the blood of Jesus. The Bible says the blood of Jesus Christ speaks well of us. More than the blood of beasts. The blood of Jesus speaks well of us. The covenanted blood of Jesus. And whoever comes to him will not be rejected. That is our Lord Jesus. Whether you are rich, whether you don't have anything, the Bible says, come and buy from me without any cent. You who is desiring to, to follow Jesus, just come to him. Be covenanted to him through the blood. The blood of Jesus Christ. He was lifted at the cross. And when he was nailed on the cross. By the flow of his blood. There was redemption for us all. There was redemption for every soul. That whoever believes in the name of Jesus. Shall be saved. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And now the Lord Jesus as he was partaking of the Passover that is the time he was crucified that is the time he was nailed on the cross praise the name of Jesus and that is why we rejoice in him that by him the sins that were engulfing us the sins that were oppressing us every sickness that was oppressing us every Egyptian in our lives we subject it under the blood of Jesus that by the blood of Jesus every sin is forgiven that by the blood of Jesus every disease is healed that by the blood of Jesus, every spirit of oppression is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I know why you cannot say amen. Because you have taken the things of God to be so usual and so familiar. When they were delivered from the hands of, of Pharaoh, when they crossed the Red Sea when they began their journey somewhere in the wilderness they lacked water and they began murmuring and they told Moses were there no graves in Egypt why did you bring us here there are people that their life has become so hopeless. They have lost hope. They recite the testimony of salvation. Hallelujah. 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana. Yeye ni mwokozi wa maisha yangu. But you don't follow. You are not living up to the salvation. Lakini haufuati ama uishi kulingana na wokovu. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. But the Bible says by the covenanted blood of Jesus. Lakini Biblia inasema kupitia kwa damu ya Yesu ya agano. By the stripes of our Lord Jesus. Kwa kupigwa kwa Yesu Kristo. Every sickness is gone. Kila gonjo alimeenda. Every sickness, every disease, Kila we are healed in the name of Jesus. Tumepona katika jina la Yesu. That was a declaration more than 2000 years ago. Ni kwa tangazo zaidi ya miaka 2000 iliyopita. That by him who was lifted on the cross. Ya kwamba kupitia yeye aliyeinuliwa katika Through that blood that he shed on the cross. Kupitia hiyo damu alimwaga msalabani. We are now new creatures in him. Sisi ni viumbe vipya ndani yake. Has no hold on us. Kwa hivyo sasa dhambi situshike tena ama kifo. That is why the Bible says do not harden your hearts. Ndio maana Biblia inasema usifanye moyo wako kuwa mgumu. If you hear the word of the Lord. Ikiwa utasikia neno la Bwana. The day of salvation is today. Ya kwamba siku ya wokovu ni leo. Just as the children of Israel prepared themselves. Kama vile wana wa Israeli walijiandaa. And they said it is a must. The Lord has spoken. We are leaving Egypt. It doesn't matter who is watching over us. It doesn't matter who is where. But the the point is the Lord has spoken and we are leaving Egypt in the name of Jesus. What? The Lord is looking for someone that can say the Lord the blood of Jesus has cleansed my heart, has cleansed my soul, has cleansed my life. Yeah. I am a new creature in the Lord Jesus. Katika Kristo Yesu wakaazimia wakasema na liwe liwalo. Sisi tumepata ukombozi, tunatoka usiku wa leo. Haijalishi ni nani anatutazama. Haijalishi ni nani anatuangalia lakini usiku wa leo lazima tuondoke. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. They gathered their waists. Wakajifunga viuno vyao. They put on their sandals. Wakavalia vyetu vyao. And they said, wakasema, whether Pharaoh likes it or not. Pharaoh apenda spend. We are living Egypt. Tunaondoka Misri. Today in the name of Jesus. Leo katika I declare to someone here. Whether the devil likes it or not. You are living Egypt. Whether he likes it or not. You are living Egypt. Whether he likes it or not. You are living Egypt. The Bible says that spoke to Moses. Biblia inasema Bwana kamnenea Musa. And he said This shall be a beginning of months to you. Akasema hii itakuwa mwanzo wa miezi kwenu. This shall be the beginning of years to you. Hii itakuwa mwanzo wa mwaka wenu. So you are just at the beginning. Kwa hivyo wewe uko kwenye mwanzo. Why because your life is going to turn around. Kwa nini kwa sababu maisha yako yanageuzwa. I'm talking to someone tonight. Nanenea mtu siku leo. Your life is turning around. Maisha yako yanageuzwa. Your life is turning around for good. Maisha yako yanageuka kwa Not remember Egypt. You will not remember the afflictions. You are not going to remember the disappointments. You are not going to remember the sicknesses. You are not going to remember the days you slept hungry. The Lord is supplying to you today. The Lord is touching a life today. The Lord is ministering to someone today by the covenanted blood of Jesus. You are renewing your life today. You are renewing your mind today. You are living today. In the name of Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Bible said The Lord explained to Moses. In Exodus chapter 12 verse 26. Kutoka sura ya 12 mstari wa 26. Because Moses said, Mungu Musa alisema, Now what will I tell my children? Because the Lord has said we 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 celebrate this day to time in memorial. Kwa sababu Bwana amesema ya kwamba tunaisherekea kwa ukumbusho milele. What will I tell my children? Je, nitawaambia nini watoto wangu? Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. When they ask me of these things, 
Because the Lord gave them instructions. That instructions in chapter 14 of Exodus. Kuna maagizo katika sura ya 14 pale kutoka. About firstborns. Kwa sababu ya wazaliwa wa kwanza. I have once taught you about firstborns. Kuna wakati niliwafundisha kuhusu wazaliwa wa kwanza. The Lord gave them instructions and said, firstborns belong to me. Bwana alimpatia Musa ama aliwapatia wana wa Israeli maagizo ya kwamba wazaliwa wa kwanza ni wake. The firstborn of everything that belongs to you it belongs to me. Ya kwamba kila mzaliwa wa kwanza katika vitu vyako vyote ni vya Bwana. And the firstborn of your womb you shall redeem them to me. Na mzaliwa wako wa kwanza wa tumbo lako utamkomboa kwa sababu yangu. And Moses now was saying ah how what how will I explain to my children? Na Musa akasema nitaelezea vipi hii kwa wana wangu. Exodus chapter 12 verse 26 tusomee kwa Kiswahili tafadhali. Biblia inasema kisha itakuwa hapo watoto wenu watakapowauliza ni nini maana yake utumishi huu kwenu? Ndipo mtawaambia ni dhabihu ya pasaka ya Bwana kwa kuwa alipita juu ya nyumba za wana wa Israeli huko Misri. Hapo alipowapiga wa Misri akaziokoa akazi nyumba zetu hao watu wakainama vichwa na kusujudia Amen praise God Hallelujah Bwana asifiwe Amen The Lord said you will tell them this is what happened Bwana akasema utawaambia kwamba hiki ndicho kilichotokea You will remind them Mtawakumbusha and we as Christians when we take the Lord's supper Na sisi kama wakristo tunapolichukua meza ya Bwana It reminds us Inatukumbusha of the love of the Lord Jesus Christ wa Yesu Christo, over our lives ya maisha yetu, that because of his blood ya kwa ya we yetu, are not destroyed sisi because ridwa. of the blood of Jesus ya we ya are yetu, not consumed because of the blood of Jesus the devil yetu, cannot dare touch us because we are redeemed by the of Jesus. Someone say Amen. Amina. The blood of Jesus Christ at the doors of our hearts we receive the Lord Jesus inside of us and we become secure. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says when the children of Israel crossed the Red Sea Pharaoh and his armies came Pharao na jeshi lake wakaja and they said ah we shall also cross wakasema pia sisi tutavuka kwani hapa iko nini si wamepita tu praise god amen and they knew this is a sea they knew it wakajua hii ni bahari they were ignorant of the power of god that had divided the red sea hawakuwamejua nguvu za mungu ambaye iliweza kugawa bahari and they thought we shall also Wakafikiria pia nao watapita tu. These are just our servants. Ah, hawa ni watumishi wetu tu. They have passed what of us. Wamepita sisi je. And the Bible says, Na Biblia inasema, The Lord sent mechanics of destruction. Bwana akaweza kutuma ile ukarabati wake wa kuangamiza. Akatuma makanika wa wa uharibifu. Amina. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Wakafunguanisha matairi yao, wakafunguanisha, wakafunguanisha ma, ma Ile ma horses na hiyo ma chariots haikuweza kusonga wakatoa matairi wakatoa mashafti wakatoa malinki wakatoa kila kitu hiyo gari haiwezi songa na hazikusonga the Bible says the Lord released confusion in their enemies. They could not pursue the children of Israel. This is what is happening during this season. Your enemies will not pursue you. They will pursue you but they will not get hold of you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because of the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus that does not belong to anyone. The blood of Jesus Christ. It is going to secure you. Your enemies will follow you. But they will not get hold of you. Where your enemies will perish, you will pass in safety. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. What is destroying your enemies will not destroy you. Because of the blood. Someone say because of the blood. I will not be destroyed with my enemies. Because I have the blood of Jesus. Amen. I have a mark. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at your neighbor and ask them, neighbor, Muli do you have a mark? Je una alama. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you have a mark of the blood of Jesus? When the angels will the angels of darkness will be pursuing. Amen. Yes. Because of the mark of the blood of Jesus, Amen. they will not find you. Hallelujah. You are hidden in the blood of Jesus. Yes. Your family is hidden in the blood of Jesus. No destruction in our camps in the name of Jesus because of the blood. Hallelujah. Someone raise up your hands and call upon the blood of Jesus. Saturate your life in the blood of Jesus. Say, Lord, nothing will destroy me. I have the mark of the blood of Jesus. My children have the mark of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. I decree the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over every marriage, over every family, over everyone tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Because of the blood of Jesus, the Lord will pass over. The Lord passed over. The Lord passed over. Because of the blood, we celebrate Passover. Because of the blood, we celebrate Passover. Because of the blood, we rejoice in Passover. Hallelujah. Oh, the blood of Jesus. You are here in our midst. You have not received the blood of Jesus. You have not applied the blood of Jesus. You have not acknowledged Jesus Christ in your life. This is the beginning of years. This is the beginning of a new season to you. Just raise up your hand. We pray together. You want to receive Jesus as your personal savior. Your life has been the miserable. You want to say, Lord Jesus, I need you once again. I need to renew my salvation during this Passover. Give my life to you. You know yourself this morning. You cannot cheat. You cannot lie to God. You know yourself this morning. You need the Lord God to touch your life once again. Your heart has been bold. Your heart has been troubled. You have been troubled for long. Let this be a remarkable season for you. Let this be a remarkable turnaround for you. You say, Lord, I'm here. Just lift up your hands, I pray with you. I release the grace of the blood. I release the grace of Passover to every lifted hand this morning. Lord watch over your children They have lifted their hands to you Lord minister to them From where they are standing Let your power minister to them Let your grace minister to them Let your grace minister to them 
in the mighty name of Jesus. May there be an upliftment in your life from today. Let there be a turnaround in your life today. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians. Chapter number 11 verse 23 to 25 Paul said For I received from the Lord That which I also delivered to you That the Lord on the same night In which he was betrayed Took bread and he And when he had given thanks He broke it and said And when he had given thanks He broke it and said Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink in remembrance of me. Ya kuwabona yesu siku ule aliotolewa, alitua mkate. Na ya kisha kushukuru waka umega kasema, Huu ndiyo mwili wangu ulio kwa ajili enu. Fanyani hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu. Na vivi hivi baada ya kula kakitua kikombe ya kisema. Kikombe hiki ni agana jipia katika damu yangu. Fanyani hivi kila mnyuapo kwa ukumbusho wangu. That is why it is called the feast of the Lord. Ndiyo maana inaitua pasaka ya bwana. And that is why we celebrate Passover. Na ndiyo maana tunasherekea pasaka. In Hebrews chapter number 11 verse 24 to 29. Katika kitabu cha waebrania. In Hebrews chapter 11 the Bible speaks about faith. Katika kitabu cha waebrania sura ya kumna moja bibili na zungumzia imani. In verse 24 the Bible says. By faith Moses when he became of age refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the passing pleasures of sin esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt for he looked to the reward by faith he forsook Egypt not fearing the wrath of the king for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. By faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, lest he who destroyed the firstborn should touch them. By faith they passed through the Red Sea as by, by dry land, whereas the Egyptians attempting to do so were drowned. <laughs> Kwa imani Musa lipo kuwa mtu mzima kakata kuitua mwana wa binti farao. Akaona ni afadhali kupata mateso pa moja na watu wa mungu kuliko kujifuraisha katika dhambi kwa kitambo. Akiesabu ya kuwa kushutumiwa kwa ke kristo ni utajiri mkuu kuliko hazina za misri kwa kuwa aliatazama hayo malipo. Kwa imani akatoka misri ya siogope gadhabi ya mfalme. Maana alistahimili kama amuonae yeye asie onekana. Kwa imani akaifanya pasaka na kukua kule kunyunyiza damu ili yule mwenye kuangamiza wazaliwa wa kwanza asiwaguze wao Amen So as Jesus took the bread and the cup and offered them uh, offered thanks and gave it to the disciples Kwa hivyo jinzi Yesu alivyo chukua kile ule mkate na kile kikombe akaweza kukitua na kushukuru na kuweza kuwapatia wanafunzi wake And he commissioned us to do so in remembrance of him Na akatueleza ya kwamba tufanye vivyo hivyo kwa sababu ya ukumbusho wake So today I present unto us the Lord's table Kwa sababu siki ya leo, kwa hivyo siki ya leo na waleteeni meza ya buwana And the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 27 Na Biblia inasema katika kitabu cha Wakorintho wa kwanza sura ya 11 mstari wa 27 Therefore whoever eats this bread or the, drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord Basi kila aulai mkate huo au kikinyoe kikombe hicho kwa Bwana isivyo staili atakuwa amejipatia hatia ya mwili na damu ya Bwana For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner Eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. Mana lai na kunywa hula na kunywa ukumu ya nafsi yake wakutoku pambanua ulemuili. For this reason, 
Many are weak and sick among you and many sleep. Kwa sababu hiyo wako wengi kwenu walio hawawezi na dhaifu na waka, watu kadhaa wa kadhaa wamelala. For if we will judge ourselves, we will not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened by the Lord that we may not be condemned with the world. Lakini kama tungejipambanua nafsi zetu tusinge hukumiwa ila tuhukumiwapo tuarudiwa na Bwana isije katu Therefore my brethren when you come together to eat wait for one another but if anyone is hungry let him eat at home lest you come together for judgment Kwa hiyo ndugu zangu mkutani kapo mpate kula mngoja neni mtu akiwa na njaa na ale nyumbani kwake msipate kutu kukutanika kwa hukumu Amen these are instructions because of the Lord that we have for us where the parts split Haya ndio maagizo ambayo tumepewa kwa sababu ya meza ya Bwana ambayo tumeweka mbele yetu siku ya leo wachungaji watusaidie Who is eligible to take the Lord's table Ni nani ambaye anastahili kula meza ya Bwana Anyone that has given their lives to Christ. Yeyote ambaye ameepeana maisha yake kwa Kristo. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So long as you are a believer. Ikiwa wewe ni muumini, you believe in the Lord Jesus. Unamwamini Yesu Kristo. You believe in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus. Unaamini katika ufufuko wa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. You can partake of the Lord's supper. Wewe unaweza kushiriki meza ya Bwana. But anyone that does not believe in Jesus Christ. Lakini yeyote as siamini katika Kristo Yesu is not eligible to take the Lord's supper. Huyo hajaitimu kula meza ya Bwana. Because the Bible says whoever takes it in an unworthy manner. Kwa sababu Biblia inasema yeyote atakaye kitoa uh, atakaye toa meza ya Bwana katika njia isiyo stahili will be guilt, guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. Ye atakuwa na hukumu kwa sababu ya mwili na damu ya Yesu Kristo. And that is why we have this moment with us today. Na ndio maana tuna majira haya wakati kama huu leo. The Bible says let every man let a man examine himself and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. Na ndio maana Biblia inasema ya kwamba na kila mtu aweze kujichunguza mwenyewe ili aweze kushiriki mkate na damu. Hallelujah. Amina. That is why I gave you some moment Domana for anyone that wants to give their life to Jesus. Ndio maana niliwapatia nafasi ya mtu awaye yote angependa kupeana maisha yake kwa Yesu. And you are not supposed to abscond this table by whatever reasons. Na pia hauhitaji kukosa meza hii ya Bwana kwa sababu yoyote ile. What does the Bible say in John chapter number 6 verse 53? Je, Yohana anasema nini katika Yohana 6 mstari wa 53? The Bible says then Jesus said to them, Most assuredly I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the son of man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is food indeed. And my blood is drink indeed. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him. Basi Yesu akawaambia, "Amini, amini nawaambieni, msipoula mwili wake mwana wa damu na kuinywa damu yake, hamna uzima ndani yenu. Aulae mwili wangu na kuinywa damu yangu anao uzima wa milele. Nami nitamfufua siku ya mwisho. Kwa maana mwili wangu ni chakula cha kweli na damu yangu ni kinywaji cha kweli." Aulae mwili wangu na kunywa damu yangu hukanda ni yangu nami hukanda ni yake. Amen. As the living Father sent me and I live because of the Father. So he who feeds on me will live because of me. Kama vile baba aliye hai alivyonituma mimi nami ni hai kwa baba. Kadhalika naye mwenye kunila atakuwa hai kwa mimi. This is the bread which came down from heaven. Not as your fathers ate manna and are dead. He who eats this bread will live forever. Hiki ndicho chakula kishukacho kutoka mbinguni, si kama mababa walivyokula wakafa, bali akilae chakula hicho ataishi milele. So as we partake of the Lord's supper, 
Kwa hivyo tunaposhiriki meza ya Bwana. We proclaim life in us. Tunatangaza maisha ama uzima kwetu. The Bible says he who takes of this body and blood. Biblia inasema yeyote atakaye kula na kunywa mwili wa Kristo. It means I I live inside of him. Inamaanisha ninaishi ndani yake. And he lives inside of me. Naye anaishi ndani yangu. And when the Lord lives inside of you. Na wakati Yesu anaishi ndani yako. You are more than a conqueror. Wewe ni zaidi ya mshindi. You are more than a conqueror. Wewe ni zaidi ya mshindi. Because you have the Lord Jesus inside of you. Kwa sababu uko na Yesu ndani mwako. As we take the Lord's table today. Tunaposhiriki meza ya Bwana leo. This is not just a, a food like any other. Hii si chakula tu kama ingine ile. The Lord Jesus says this is food indeed. Biblia inasema ya kwamba Yesu alisema hii ni chakula kweli kweli. And this is blood indeed. Na hii ni damu kweli kweli. As we partake of it. Tunaposhiriki. We decree life in our bodies. Tunatangaza uzima kwa mili zetu. We decree revival in our souls. Tunatangaza uvuvio katika nafsi zetu. We decree zetu. redemption in the name of Jesus. Tunatangaza ukombozi katika jina la Yesu. When I'm declaring something and you are just looking at me, I wonder. I am not so sure if you us praise the name of Jesus. Amen. This is a very significant moment. I just I just uh, call upon all of us to be on our feet in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm making declarations as per the Lord's table. This is the very very first Lord's table this, uh, this year. And if we are going by the Jewish calendar this is the very first Lord's table this year. Na tukienda na kalenda ya Wayahudi hii ndio meza ya Bwana ya kwanza kabisa. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And because the Lord chose Israel. Na kwa sababu Bwana alichagua Israeli. As his chosen people. Kama watu wako waliochaguliwa. Blood of Jesus. Kwa damu ya Yesu. We are the chosen of the Lord. The Lord Bwana. has chosen us. Bwana the Lord has redeemed us. Bwana In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Just as the Lord lifted up the, the body. Kama vile Bwana alinua mkate. And he prayed over it. Na akaiombea. And gave it out to his disciples. Na akawapa wanafunzi wake. So I lift up this bread. Kwa hivyo nainua mkate huu. I give thanks to the Lord God Almighty. Ninamshukuru Mungu. And I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Ninatangaza katika jina la Yesu. Let this bread become life to you. Wacha iwe mtumishi wako. As you partake of this bread. Unaposhiriki mkate huu. Let it become life to your body. Wacha iwe uzima kwa mwili wako. Let it become life to your families. Wacha iwe uzima kwa Let it become life to your businesses. Let it bring reconciliation. Reconciliation in families. Reconciliation back to God. Reconciliation back to your friends. Reconciliation in our families. Reconciliation in ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be revival. Let your soul receive the zeal. The zeal to serve God. The zeal to serve God. The zeal to live for God. In the mighty name of Jesus. And by the virtue of this bread, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus every disease and every sickness it is being broken right now it is broken in the name of Jesus just as the Lord lifted the blood and gave thanks to the Father so I lift the blood and I give thanks to the Lord God Almighty and I pray by the virtue of this blood that let every sin be sanctified let every sin be broken. Let every effect of any sin in your life let it be broken from today. Let there be a turnaround in your life. Let your life begin to flourish.
things may you begin to manifest in your areas of assignment may you begin to manifest as you partake of this cup today may you begin to manifest may you begin to grow may you begin to mature up in the things of God may peace be multiplied to you let grace be multiplied to you let wealth come your way every door that the devil had closed in your life I decree and declare in the name of Jesus it is broken it is open it is open it is open in the name of Jesus by the virtue of the blood of Jesus let miracles begin happening let miracles begin happening what you have been trusting God for for a long time let it come to pass let it come to pass let it come to pass receive the desires of your heart receive the desires of your heart every barriers are broken by the virtue of the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus every oppression of the devil every oppression of sin and sickness it is broken now I decree and declare it is broken now by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus Father God Almighty I thank you for your children Lord I invoke your name in this Lord's table in the blood and in the bread I invoke the blood of Jesus that my father as your children partake of it let healing flow let healing flow let healing flow let there be breakthroughs let miracles happen let them receive the zeal let them be filled with the Holy Spirit let them speak in new tongues let them speak in new tongues let them speak in new tongues in the name of Jesus Lord, I sanctify this bread and this wine by the blood of Jesus. I invoke the power that is in the blood of Jesus. I invoke the power that is in the name of Jesus over this bread and over this, uh, over this cup that whoever shall partake of it, their lives shall never be the same again. Where they were rejected, they will begin to be accepted. There will be an elevation there will be a promotion in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you. People will begin favoring your children because of this Lord's table. You are bringing divine, divine destiny connectors, destiny helpers. You are bringing them our way. You are bringing them to the daughters of virtue. You are connecting us to people. You are connecting us to people in the name of Jesus. Our dreams are valid, O oh Lord. Our dreams will never die. They'll come to pass. Whether it tarries, O oh Lord, your vision will never die. We shall see it, O oh my Father. We shall witness your doings in the name of Jesus. I decree healing. Healing in the name of Jesus. HIV, healing. Cancer, healing. Malaria, healing. Priscilla, healing in the name of Jesus to be healing sugar levels are coming back to normal in the name of Jesus sugar levels sugar levels sugar levels are coming back to normal in the name of Jesus every demons of asthma you are bowing down to the name of Jesus you are bowing down to the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Everyone struggling with any sin in our midst, every sin of lesbianism, every sin of fornication, every sin of adultery, I subject you to the blood of Jesus. I subject you to the blood of Jesus. I command you today 
shall and die in the name of Jesus. Every pride, every homosexuality, every ignorance of the enemy, I command you now, bow down to the blood of Jesus. Bow down to the blood of Jesus. Every rejection, I release women. Get married. Get married. Get your husband. Get your wife. Get married. I release you. I release you. Release you. I release you. I release you from every bondage. In the name of Jesus. Every generational curses. Today. 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 Yakate katosa. Yate patatata. Repa katasa kato. Repa papa pasata. Repa papa. Repa papa pasata. Repa papa pasata. In the name of Jesus, I command you bow down to the name of Jesus. Yete sete rada. Kila maroho yakukataliwa. Maroho ya kutokuwa leo Maroho ya kufukuzwa kazi Maroho ya kukataliwa Leo kwa jina la Yesu I command you right now Bow down Bow down Bow down To the name of Jesus Lord God Almighty As we lift your blood Upon this altar today We visit the altars in our native areas, in our rural, every demonic altars operating against us, we lift the blood of Jesus against you right now. We lift the blood of Jesus against you right now. In the name of Jesus, listen to this church. Every blood that was shed in the rural areas, in our homes, wherever we come from, every blood on those demonic altars by the blood of Jesus on this altar we destroy them we command them null and void null and void null and void in the name of Jesus we raise the blood of Jesus against any demonic agendas any arrows of the enemy from whichever altar we raise the blood of Jesus we raise the blood of Jesus we raise the blood of Jesus I can you right now I can you right now every witches every Jezebel every witches we raise the blood of Jesus I can you now every spiritual witches every spiritual witches every spiritual witches nothing else in the spiritual we raise the blood of Jesus we raise the blood of Jesus we raise the blood of Jesus we raise the blood of Jesus. Shatai! Repapa shetakata. Repoto sataya. Maseto la dusha. In the name of Jesus. I stand on this altar that has been raised for our Lord God Almighty. In the name of Jesus. I rise against any curses from anyone in authority in our lives today uh, anyone under us anyone in our levels of authority I arise today I arise in the name of Jesus I bring every curse down I nullify it now I nullify it now I nullify it now I set you free and the Bible says whoever the son of man sets free they shall be free indeed. No curse will hold over your life. No curse will hold over you. No curse will hold over you. No curse will hold over you. In the name of Jesus. By the reason of the blood of Jesus. I decree and declare. Freedom. Freedom. Liberty. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank 
you Lord just lift up your hands and thank God thank God begin thanking God thank God for his blood thank God for the redemption thank God for the redemption in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord God Almighty, take over, Lord. Break every chain, 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 in the name of Jesus. I can see the blood. I can see the angels. I can feel the presence. Surely the Lord is here. Someone lift up your voice and pray. Someone pray. Someone lift up your voice and pray. Let's see at all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Father, I bless your name. You as your children to partake of this you, your Lord's Jesus. table. Hallelujah. I bless them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let it be so to you as you have believed. Hallelujah. Let it be so as you have believed. Someone say Amen. Amen. Someone shout Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You just come and get your cup and your bread. I love to tango chana. I asked the teachers to bring the Sunday school children. We shall give them. Just as you have believed, let it be so unto you. Let the Lord of mercy minister to you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This is not a season to look at someone. You just take your, your, you just take your cup, you take your bread, and you begin meditating and thanking God in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's Thank you, Jesus.
signifies the blood and the body of Christ Jesus. Just speak to yourself, whatever you desire the Lord to do for you, just in a minute, whatever you have been desiring for, and know that there is redemption in the blood of Jesus. The Bible says that therefore there is no condemnation to those that are in, the, in, in, in Christ Jesus. You are in Christ Jesus. Do not condemn yourself. Do not be condemned by anyone. Know that the Lord Jesus loves you. The Lord Jesus died for you. He shed his blood for you. And his body was bruised so that you can be well. In the name of Jesus. Someone just, someone just talk to your God. Someone just open up your heart for Oh, shake it. Healing is taking place. Healing is taking place right now. Healing is taking place right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is giving you power, the power to conquer, the power to destroy strongholds, the power to scale over every wall in the name of Jesus obstacle that was placed before you. The Lord is giving you the power, the power to conquer in the name of Jesus. Thank you.
Bubuza, Rabushita, and Neri Bubuzuka, Yasata Yalaba Baba, Reto Yantur Yelabuse, Yantiriantaya Baba, Rekiato Zabagan de Rebuza, Yakete Katariantikarianta. Hallelujah, Lord. I pray. I pray, Lord Jesus. Remember masses. Remember masses. I plead your masses, O oh Lord, over your children. God, my Father, I plead your masses upon us, O oh Lord. I plead your masses upon this ministry. I plead your masses, O oh Lord Jesus. O oh Lord Jesus, I am Oh, the blood of Jesus. How I thank you, Father. How I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. The blood has brought a difference in this hour. Thank you, Father, for the difference. Wash away my sin. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. feet. The Bible says, and after uh, partaking of the Lord's Supper, they were greatly, they greatly rejoiced in the Lord and they sang a hymn as they went home. Children, can we be standing in the name of Jesus? Tunataka kumpatia nasifa na utukufu. Inu watu mikono yako mpigia buwana makofi masu. Hallelujah! kwa Yesu! Wapi sifa kwa Yesu Haleluya Tumusherekea ya Bwana Tumutukuse Bwana Tumusherekea ya Bwana Piki ya Bwana na kofi mazuri Haleluya, haleluya Cheza tumbele za Bwana Furaia uweponi mabwana Thank you. 
sherekea shika sadaka yako kwa mkono tuko na bahasha za passover hizi tutazileta wiki kesho kuna wale waleta last week but next week tutakuwa tunaombea hiyo sadaka ya passover nani yako na wapi mabahasha someone get us the white envelopes for our passover uh, passover offerings amen get your offering in the name of jesus Lord, I thank you for our offerings and our tithes as we give on this altar. May you bless us. May you keep us. May you go with us in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Someone say, Amen. Amen. Okay, let's give our offerings and then after that we shall say the grace. Uh, Madam Pastor Maureen, ya kuhapi? Kuna meza ya buwana imebake hapa. I commission her. Where is where is she? She's outside. Okay. She's coming. Okay. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate Jesus. Amen. Ebona wangu nita kuimbia. Mfalme wangu nita kuimbia. Wakati ningali na pumuzi nita kuimbia. Wakati ningali na pumuzi nita kuimbia. Ebona wangu nita kuimbia. Ebona wangu nita kuimbia. Wakati ningali na pumuzi nita kuimbia. 